Today I'm going to give you two tips to perfect your Bulgarian split squat. How high to put your back leg and where to hold the weight. Get up and get down, get up and get the first thing when it comes to the Bulgarian split squat is the setup. Let's talk about how high we want to elevate the back leg. Now, a lot of people do Bulgarian split squats off a bench. Now, that's gonna be about 18 inches high. So, let's mimic that with our two crash mats right here. And I'm gonna have Ed set up for his Bulgarian split squat at this height. For most people, a bench height is going to be too high for a Bulgarian split squat for two reasons. If the back leg is elevated too high, usually you'll be limited in your depth and it will bring out a really good stretch in your free leg. So the back leg will be limited by a really good stretch here. You're doing a single leg squat with a kickstand. I want your emphasis to be in the front leg. You should not have a really great stretch in your free back leg. Now, sometimes to avoid that stretch, what people will do is you'll see this compensation that we don't wanna see, they'll shift backwards. Now again, this seesaw effect is overemphasizing the back leg. So you're shifting weight disproportionately into the back leg. Usually with the Bulgarian split squat, I want you to think 90% of your body weight through your front foot, 10% of your weight through your back foot. Again, think about a single leg squat with a kickstand. If I'm shifting back in the seesaw method, I'm putting too much weight in the back leg. This is no longer a single leg squat with a kickstand. So for most people, a bench height is going to be way too high and it's not going to allow you to optimize your Bulgarian split squat mechanics. So what do we do instead? Let's use just a small stack of plates. For most people, if you don't have a Bulgarian split squat machine, a few plates on the ground is going to be just high enough for you to optimize this movement. Now, let's see what his mechanics look like in this position. He's going to be able to mimic his shin angle and his torso angle in the bottom. For most people, that's the best way to set up for this. So if you get down and you are off in either one of those, lengthen or shorten your stride length to where when you're in the bottom position, go all the way down, I wanna see a shin angle and a torso angle that is aligned in parallel. One way again to think about this is we are doing a single leg squat with just a little bit of balance assistance with the back leg. So don't push into that back leg a lot. It's not a split squat. It is a rear foot elevated split squat with a kickstand. Okay, so that's a good way to think about how to optimize the pressure through the front leg. In doing so, you're gonna have shared pressure with your knee and your hip joint. So you should get done with the Bulgarian split squat and feel your quads and your glutes working, not just one or the other for most people in the way we're trying to emphasize this. Let's next talk about where you're going to hold the weight. For most people, I have you start with the weight held in the opposite hand of your stance leg. So this is going to really help you focus on mobility of that front side hip. So if you're someone that has usually stiff hips, this is gonna be the most advantageous place to hold the weight. It's also going to be a great anti-rotation core stability emphasis because you wanna make sure that you're not twisting as you go down. So not only is it helping us sink into that hip a little bit deeper, but it also is applying a good core stability anti-rotation emphasis. So for most people, this is where I go to. Now, let's say you're someone that has really good hip mobility already. Maybe you need a little bit more emphasis into propulsion or glute contraction activation. You wanna emphasize the ascent a little bit more so that it carries over to maybe a little bit more strength on the ascent of your squat. For those people, and especially for anyone that may be getting a little pain on the front side of the hip or adductors, switch the weight over to the other side. So same side, same leg. That's going to place a little bit more emphasis onto your glutes, especially on the ascent. You'll notice that your glutes gonna be working just a little bit harder. So just changing up the way in which you're holding the weight can has a, have a massive um, effect on the way in which you're feeling this and your emphasis with the Bulgarian split squat. So there's two quick tips to optimize the Bulgarian split squat. Get away from the really high box or bench setup, lower the stack that'll let you make sure that you are really emphasizing the front leg and not shifting too much weight in the back leg. And then also understanding how the different hand placement can give you an emphasis into mobility and sinking into that hip, good anti-rotation core control, or if you want a little bit more activation of your glute for that concentric ascent in a way in which it can carry over to maybe more strength for your squat. 
with the single arm, same side hold as well. So hope you guys liked today's quick video on Bulgarian split squats. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, or if there's any future videos you want me to uh, touch on in the future. Until then, guys, happy Bulgarian split squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people have